Hello guys, in this video I will introduce you a hacking method called packet sniffing, that is being used for long times by security researchers and hackers. So let's have a look on it that, how it's done, and what are the tools used for this hacking method and, lastly how you can keep yourself safe from these kind of attacks. Before knowing about the term packet sniffing also known as network packet sniffing, first let's know about the main thing that are network packets. Network packets are the unit of data flowing from an origin to a specific destination address or we can say it transfers from a sender to a receiver. These packets carry data over various internet communication protocols which are TCP and IPs. Each packet includes information of the source and the destination or their identifications. Example, when any file is sent or transferred from one place to another on the internet, or when you download any file from internet, suppose the file size is 2 megabytes, it is divided into many packets and each packets are separately numbered and contain some information of previous packets as well as upcoming packets, and when all the packets are arrived they are reassembled into the original file, as a result the file is completely downloaded. I think now you got the concept of network packets. So, now let's move towards the packet sniffing hacking method. Packet sniffing is the act or process of capturing the network packets across the computer network that is used by hackers or attackers to collect users and network information, it's kinda similar to man in the middle attack but different from it. As you know how these data packets transfers from a source to a destination via network protocols, these packets travel across numbers of traffic control devices such as routers and switches that can be hacked to capture those data packets and get sensitive information. Packet sniffing is also carried out by ISPs, government and advertising companies to track all your online activities for various reasons. One thing you may have noticed that when you search for any products on shopping sites, then the same product's advertisement can be seen in different websites. Recently, I searched for Raspberry Pi and Power Bank in two different websites and advertisement of both items appeared on a different website than I was surfing. Mostly, packet sniffing is used by network technicians to check network problems or to gather network statistics but hackers use sniffing tools such as Wireshark, TCP dump or Kismet to eavesdrop on unsecured and unencrypted data in the packets. How can you protect yourself from packet sniffing attacks? Don't use any untrusted or public Wi-Fi and if you're surfing internet on public Wi-Fi then use a VPN and make sure you are using only HTTPS secured websites and that's it. So guys, if you learned something new please hit the like button and share this with your friends and subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed yet.